Our job is to anticipate the future, and that's by finding really sort of high impact, high uncertainty, science, technology, and concepts that are brand new to defense. Futures are really hard to get your head around, so it is quite hard to explain what I do. People go, what, you play board games? <laughs> So it's really important that defence looks to uh, at the future. You take horizon scanning, you look at lots of different data sources to try and find those sort of nuggets, those ideas that we need to take forward. We're working on a lot of different things right now, so looking at your gut microbiome and then all the way to something like tele-existence. So the gut microbiome piece, we notice that when soldiers are deployed overseas, sometimes they get sick. Depending on where soldiers have come from, some got sick and some didn't. Some very clever people in DSDL, had a look at the different microbiomes in people's guts and found there was a difference. So now we might be able to develop something that will stop people being sick when they get deployed. So one of the ways that we engage, provoke and invoke people to think differently is using something called the Museum of Future, which is a virtual reality system, which means we can immerse our stakeholders to either a future operating environment or show them a technology or a concept that we've developed. Because it's so far in the future, unless you kind of physically have something to hold, people like to hold something, the museum is a way that we can do that. We've also, you probably see behind me, there's some board games, there's some card games. So we need lots of different ways to tell the same story because people understand things in different ways. I joined GSDL uh, in 2003, so I've just celebrated my 20th anniversary. But I joined as a, a level three, as an administrator. So my, my job was filing, scanning, answering the phone. So I don't have that traditional scientific background, but I worked my way up the level, so I'm now level seven. So you don't have to start one place and stay there. I've worked in all but one of the divisions that we have here. So there are real opportunities. I think you just got to be one of those people that goes, I'll try that and see what happens. And, and that's essentially my career, I think. The reason why I love futures is that there's no wrong idea. So it doesn't matter if you're a scientist. It doesn't matter if you work in admin. It doesn't matter if you're technical, non-technical. All those life experiences that you bring really help us look at the future.